The final phase to remove the 200-year-old Bradford Dam in Hopkinton is in full swing. The dam is being replaced with a new riverbed and stone walls, but this change could also help fish migrate. Meteorologist Pete Mangione has more on that impact, new at 530. In some shape or form, the dam has been at this location since the 1700s, but not anymore. During the final phases of the Bradford Dam's removal, the Pocketuck River has been temporarily moved. The river's moved a couple hundred feet that way. In fact, we're standing right now in the riverbed. Crews are working hard to bang out a new and improved riverbed that will soon be filled with rushing water. It will act as a staircase for fish like herring and shad. Scott Cummings from the Nature Conservancy Rhode Island explains. And then they'll rest in a pool and then they'll keep going. And before they would have just hit the dam and had to figure out a way around the dam through the fish ladder, which had fairly low uh, success. But helping out the fish in the surrounding ecosystem is only the first reason for this project. And the second reason is for flood abatement. The dam that was here was in disrepair and could have failed at any point. This spot, with the canal of rushing water as well as some of the adjacent woods, will allow leeway for the excess water. About half of the $2 million tab comes from federal sandy relief funds, the other half from a combination of state and foundation money. Suzanne Payton from U.S. Fish and Wildlife explains that this current round of restoration on the Pocketuck goes back to 2010. A lot of that funding was ERA funding, uh, working with NOAA and the CRMC and the Wood Pocketuck Watershed Association. This thank you sign is not officially in the budget for this restoration. Cummings says it's just a sign of appreciation. I just think it's a, a pretty amazing thing to finally reconnect a river that uh, has been uh, essentially blocked since uh, before we were a country. The project is set for completion by the end of 2017. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.